Okay, so let's take a benzene measurement. So I take a fresh tube and I'm looking for, I don't know if you can see this very well, but there is an arrow showing the flow is coming into the tube this way. And I want to put it into the tube holder so it comes in through the tube, scrubs out all the VOCs except for benzene and then goes into the meter. So I do that and I'll screw this in. Now I've used the tube breaker and I covered that in a separate video of how to, how to do that. I want to make sure this is tight too because we want to make sure that um, all the gas comes in, goes through and gets measured. So what I would do is I hit, I'm, I'm, and I, I would let this measure or, or warm up for at least 15 minutes before taking a measurement. Hit the tube, so I'm, I'm showing there's a tube here. Let's see if I can show you this a bit better. Okay, hit tube. Select the gas, is benzene of course, because that's all we're really trying to measure with this right now. I put in the temperature, so I know it's about 70 degrees, which is about 21 degrees Celsius. Okay, I've already put in the new tube, so I'm ready there. Um, I'm gonna put the, I'm just gonna use, I have a cylinder of uh, benzene to take a reading. So I'll put this on, and I've got this, it's a calibration adapter. Um, the regular puts a 0.5 liter per minute, comes through, then there's a hole in this that lets the excess gas come out because you don't want to pressurize or force gas down the, the tube there. So I'll start the gas, and I want to be in a fairly well ventilated area. I'm going to hit start, and it's going to take a reading, and it's counting down from 120 seconds. I'll try to zoom in on that a bit more so you can see it as well. So it'll take a while. Um, that tube, and this is the other, another tube just to show you, the tube allows the gas to come in and absorbs all the other VOCs and only that's benzene come through. So you're just starting to see readings now because some of it is just getting the gas through the tube and filtering out the other VOCs. Now, um, you want to, um, you're supposed to really use one tube for each sample because there's chemicals get drawn down. And like if you have a lot of VOCs present, this could really fill up very quickly and neutralize all the chemicals in here. Plus the chemicals here, if you leave it on too long, it can get sucked through the tube and into the unit, which isn't good. Um, so they say one, you know, should be do calibration, take that tube out, put a new tube in, Go take a sample. That's your, you know, your benzene reading. Um, take that tube out. Use the next one. So it's really should be one sample per per uh, per tube. So I still have uh, about 40 seconds left. Now hopefully you can see this fairly well, but it is pretty amazing because, you know. Um, for a meter like this. Okay, now this is basically an instantaneous reading. Um, well, once it gets through the tube and that, so you need a little bit of time for it to do that. But you could also let this going go for a while if you want to do a style reading. But most people just want a, a, a benzene reading off the top, so. Okay. Great. So that's our benzene reading, and now the calibration gas was uh, 5 ppm that I used, and so that's pretty darn close because the ca the actual cal gas might be, uh, you know, it, it's when you look at the small amount of uh, differences in the gas, that might be the correct value. So, anyway, that's how to take a measurement.